Hi there and welcome to another short video looking at some of the key charts on the world economy. This one focuses on another aspect of globalisation. The, the sort of global clothing and apparel market is one of, the, one of the benchmark industries for assessing the dynamics of change in the world economy. And I just wanted to pick out for you a, a, quite a remarkable table showing the change in the share of world exports of clothing uh, by country. This data takes us from 1980 through to the latest figures in 2015 and comes from the annual World Trade Report published by the World Trade Organization. Well, we can see that China is streets ahead in terms of the share of world exports of clothing. From just a 4% share in 1980, it was touching 40% in 2015. The European Union, the 28 nations of the EU are in second place but notice that their share has declined from just under 29% in 2000 to about a quarter in 2015. So what else is happening beneath the surface? Well, who are, here are two important countries to think about in the context of globalisation. Bangladesh and Vietnam have become two of the biggest exporters of clothing over the last 15, 20 years, in part because there's been a significant amount of foreign direct investment into their economies, helped by very low relative unit labour costs, labour costs per unit of output. Look to see how Bangladesh's share of world clothing has catapulted it from a zero share in 1980 to nearly 6% in 2015. It's now the world's third biggest export of clothing. Vietnam, not far behind, a more rapid advance from less than 1% in 2000, under 5% now. And let's do a few more countries into the mix. Countries like India, well their share of clothing exports hasn't changed hugely, it has increased, it's about 4%. Turkey is growing strongly, again it has about a 3% world market share. Uh, Indonesia, less significant, they have lost out in terms of market share in recent times. Cambodia emerging into the picture with 6% billion dollars worth of clothing exports in 2015. To put that into context, the value of Cambodian clothing exports in 2015 was the same as the United States in that year, six billion dollars. So what we see here is an incredibly important emerging picture of manuf clothing manufacturing and exporting shifting towards lower labour costs, lower unit labour cost centres. I think countries like Bangladesh, and Vietnam and Turkey and Cambodia are countries to watch in that respect. For Bangladesh, textiles is an incredibly important part of their exports. Take a look at this chart which shows that in 2014, out of a total export of $33 billion, uh, Bangladesh, 90% of their exports of goods were textiles and uh, nearly 3% footwear and headwear. This is a really good example of a country that has a comparative advantage in manufacturing and exporting clothing, uh, but whose economy is tremendously reliant now on high scale, high volume, uh, fairly low value added manufacturing products. So that's a chart showing clothing exports. I think it has something interesting to say about the dynamics of comparative advantage and the changing patterns of globalization.